I was little and first started writing, the texts I produced were quite simple. But even back then, they had their own sets of production technologies. When I was a little older, I broke into the digital world. I adopted new technologies and left others behind. Eventually, my texts expanded beyond merely writing as I began to compose texts for digital media. In the last couple of years, I've even gone so far as to combine different modes of communication into single texts. Looking back across this progression is revealing. I've never thought of myself as resistant to new writing technologies, but there has often been a significant gap between the modes in which I compose and the modes through which I communicate. When I first adopted the computer as part of my writing process, I wasn't really composing on screen yet. I was simply taking my privileged mode of communication and translating it into another. Eventually, I stopped handwriting my first drafts and was able to type them up instead. Not only did it speed things up, it changed my writing process and the ideas I generated. I'd like to think that the technology improved my process, but that couldn't really happen until after I started to internalize it. Now, I've started to come into contact with technologies that are new to my composing process again. As a writer, I know how to use alphabetic rhetorical conventions, and they translate pretty well into other single-mode texts like audio and video clips. But even now, as I produce with sound or images, I compose primarily on a word processing screen first. The switch from composing on paper to composing on screen wasn't quick or easy when I was a little kid, and now I wonder how my writing process should change as I compose texts using combinations of photos, music, voice, and video. Even as I continue to improve my technical skills and my writing practices, my texts haven't really benefited from multiple modes of representation. I suspect that I won't be able to fully exploit the various modes of communication until I begin actually composing in those very same modes. My first project for this course was a simple video reflection, but there was nothing about the text that took advantage of its visual nature. I could just as well have written it down or made an audio recording. For my next project, I divided streams of content between different modes. The backbone of the text is a simple, reflective voiceover, but visually, I added a series of images demonstrating an historical arc from pencils to word processors. I also used music to create a specific mood. This project really allowed my thinking to depart from my old composition habits and assumptions. On another video project, I challenged myself to work with silence and screen capture video. Rhetorically, I had always found it difficult to challenge students to research word choices and how words might blossom into ideas and questions and arguments. I used videos of on-screen editing and thesaurus mapping to demonstrate the potential of these strategies. For my final reflection, I wanted to investigate something Jody Shipka had challenged her students to do, to structure the conditions in which a text will be experienced. I wanted a video of screen text as it was being typed, but in order to have enough control over the process, I needed to type out the text, then record it being deleted character by character. Then I had to slow it down and play it backward to make it look natural. Ironically, it ended up being the cleanest text I produced, but its production took more creativity and revision than all the others. By producing these task-based reflections, 
I've realized that translating a text from one mode to another is a useful skill. The same can be said for taking a text and adding several modes of content to it. Both strategies are significant developments in contemporary composition strategies, and each, to some extent, takes advantage of emerging technologies. However, I won't be able to fully integrate my alphabetic literacies with my hardware and software skills until my modes of composition match seamlessly my modes of communication. Thank you.